that I'm going to allow the state of emergency that I declared on March 13th, 2020 to expire. Governor Pete Ricketts is telling Nebraskans it's time to get back to normal. He's ended the state of emergency over the pandemic, effectively ending test Nebraska tests and risk assessments. But health officials in Nebraska tell us that doesn't mean they're packing their bags just yet. So we will continue on as though it uh, is just an infectious disease. Melanie Thompson is an emergency response coordinator for one of Nebraska's public health departments. She says she was not surprised by the declaration as cases have declined, adding that schools and clinics will still follow health guidelines issued by the CDC. Which are actually more restrictive. Schools will have to navigate a return to classrooms in the fall without a risk dial. The superintendent of Norfolk Public Schools, Jamie Jo Thompson, says students will return in person without vaccine requirements or testing. Officials plan to track absentee numbers rather than rely on data from the health department. Um, and we feel confident that at this time that is all that is needed. If there is a spike, they will report it to the Elkhorn Logan Valley Public Health Department. Things that we have learned absolutely is going to make it better um, if we ever have to roll this out. The biggest challenge following the governor's announcement, the availability of testing. Test Nebraska officially ends this week. Starting in July, patients will have to start dipping into their insurance. There are still variants floating out there. She's referring to the highly contagious Delta variant. There are growing concerns it could spread over the holiday weekend. But with vaccination rates holding steady, I'm going to optimistically say that we're not going to end up in the same kind of a lockdown that, that we've had in the past. In Wisner, Carolyn Conti, News Channel, Nebraska.